it's time. All right, here we go. The cocktail show. Get ready to have a good time. Let's have a good time. This is exciting, isn't it? Oh, I like that. Hello, testing, testing, testing. Welcome aboard the Dream Rider. It's the only way to fly. Wow. <laughs> I've allotted one hour for recreational activity. There's no time for irrelevant conversation. Fun will now commence. Cocktail show. Gary, Gary, Gary. Here's a young speaker who is really in demand. Don't let that go to your head, Gary. <laughs> but wait, there's more. I'm the guy. Thank you, guy. Three, two, one, zero. Welcome to the Gary Meyer Show Cocktail Hour Live. 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 Cocktails. Woo. Drinks. We're streaming live at 6 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, on Friday, March 22nd, 2024. And of course, no matter where you are, it's time for a digital mimosa. Since those of us in the Northern Hemisphere are now past the vernal equinox, it's now spring by all measures. So especially for those in the Gare Force that may not be seeing spring daily in their region, like Ryan from Wisconsin will report in today's show, I'll share some springtime photos from around my neighborhood from just the past couple of weeks. Our audio-only podcast listeners will have to use their imagination to get their moment of zen. The best way to watch this show is the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. YouTube, YouTube, YouTube. Subscribe to the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. More eyeballs. It's a good thing. Please like and share the show on all the social media channels. Comments during the live show, wherever we are streaming, can be seen in our virtual studio. And we may show them on the screen and or talk about them. Woo. And that's it. Now, fasten your seatbelts, it's time to go wheels up on the Gear Force Live! 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 Here we go! The following may be disturbing on America's podcast. Boom! Shaka Laka! Uh, all right, where's my Manhattan? Welcome, everybody. Yeah, we are ready to do a little spring break in indoors, and thank you for stopping by. What happens here, if you're new to this program, I kick the tires and light the fires, and then one more thing happens before the wheels go up, and that would be Leslie removing her wine condom. Hello, Leslie. Hello, everybody. Happy Friday to y'all, even though uh, for some of us here in the Midwest, uh, looking a little dreary today, but this should take the uh, edge off of that. So, all right, uh, let's see. Got a Sauvignon Blanc from Oyster Bay, my favorite New Zealand wine these days. And here we go. Three, two. Oh. Nice. <laughs> that was nice. Nice <laughs> shot. Nice. Very nice. All right. Well, cheers. Cheers to mm. y'all. Ah, that's yeah, that's good. Ooh. Hmm. Okay, this Boost Oxygen, Ryan sent mm -hmm. me this, and I saw these guys on Shark recently, and whatever this category is called, portable oxygen, single-use oxygen, they own 95% of the market. <laughs> okay, wow. yeah, and I can't Do you remember feel different I, when I, you yeah, take a Yeah, I get shot? a little head out. Yeah, sure. But uh, yeah. the sharks weren't that warm to it. I don't know what the problem was. I was half watching, but not, I did hear 95% of the market. That That's a nice market to have. On the other hand, I mean, there is this thing called breathing, uh, <laughs> the ambient yeah. oxygen around. So, yeah. I, yeah, I could see where they might be a little iffy about it. Well, okay. There was a report well, in the news overnight that Chicago was one of the most polluted places in terms of air pollution. So well, having something like that handy that would be helpful, right? So polluted, you can't even have a baby there now. I still have my portable air purifier that we got. I think that was yeah. in season one of the uh, Friday podcast. That's right. Season four now. One more season and we are syndicated. Ta-da! Thumbs up. There Finger you go. gun. And it's going to be go. like the 50s where we all get like checks for 17 right. cents a week right. or something. For the first six showings afterward, you get $3 and then it's over. And then, yeah. Time for some messages. 
in the comments section. We start with Keely Ann every week, and, and this might be a little inappropriate with the news that came out today, all of the secrecy surrounding Kate across the pond. I'm betting you she's love having that phrase, don't you? on her schnauzer. Maybe she has a giant, but the king wants a miniature. Okay. Uh, and then the next one was, put the next one up, Alan. Oops. The, yeah, <laughs> yeah. She probably just saw the news. Maybe she wrote the first one and then the news comes out that she's got cancer and she felt a little bad. Speaking of these cute little phrases that people use and think they're so clever across the pond and my, my main anchor man, David Muir, did a story about Bruce Springsteen back on tour after his illness and he called him the boss. Oh, boss. Yeah. Because they're cool. like simpatico. Yeah. Right. That's the boss, man. Okay, David, you're hip. Okay, we'll talk about Kate. First in just time a I went to a Bruce Springsteen concert, I thought the crowd was like just mean as hell because I started hearing that Bruce and I thought they were booing. It was very yeah. sad. But okay. do, do we think that Walter Cronkite ever referred to Sinatra as the chairman of the board? No. Do you think that Walter ever did a story about Frank unless Frank died well, right okay. before the newscast? Come on. Okay. Let's he go. You wouldn't give 18 minutes to uh, Tina Turner. No, no way. No. Uh, Botox, the box? Lloydster, what does that mean? I don't know, but it sounds kind of dirty, maybe. Okay. Uh, Charles from WRLR. In Gurney, Illinois, your 24-hour correspondent. Yes, Charles is very busy sending me stuff. Martin, always here from BC. Hello. Uh, Greg, howdy, y'all, from Dakula, Georgia. Not Dracula, goddammit. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Commando Show is like having a substitute teacher. Yeah, we kind of screw around. We're not as strict. We don't have to mind our manners. Thank you, Dale. Bring out and your Crayolas, everybody, because uh, this could... We're going to show a movie. Let's show a movie. Robert, <laughs> uh, Captain Miller, watch those crosswinds when you lift off today. Storms today in the upper Midwest. Don't go spantex on this flight. Yeah, okay. A um, couple things. The ultralight today took it out, and yeah, it was, it was rough. Uh, there's oh, a lot yeah. of bad weather in the upper part of the country. We were talking about that spantex flight from many years ago where this guy, apparently he would record in his seat every takeoff. And it just so happens that this particular flight didn't lift off and they crashed. It went across the street and crashed into a field. Number of people died and he's still recording as, oh, we, we have, we're, we're, oh, ho-po. The thing starts shaking. You can hear the vibration. Oh, yeah, oh, in V1 oh, position, oh. V1 yeah. position. V1, V1. He's got all these aviation terms. V1, 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 150 miles an hour. We're going to V2, V2. We're going to lift off, lift up, lift. Whoa, oh. And it's, you hear those shutters. Uh oh. Uh, we are not lifting off. The Spantex is in fire. It's on trouble. <laughs> and he got his word salad <laughs> going. And as he's running from the burning plane, he's still talking into his tape recorder. Yeah. He was committed to the process. So uh, he, if he's around today, what do you want to bet he's on YouTube watching those takeoffs and landings that uh, right. we've Out been turned on to? Where people narrate the landings and takeoffs at the airport. Brian from, oh, yes, yeah, spring break started today. Not feeling it. Oh, mm -hmm. well. Nothing a cocktail in the Air Force can't fix. Right. Cheers, everyone. Uh, Brian and, oh, yes, <laughs> and Matt will be on in the coming weeks. We're talking about which way to go on our next visit with them so, so yeah when they're having perfect. a bad show does oh yes become oh well I mean, oh well <laughs> oh, <laughs> i don't think they have bad shows i can't imagine i've seen the videos they are awesome and uh what is that turn a blitz turn a what's the turn wait amy first boarding in st louis where it's a balmy 66 degrees sorry about the snow in chicago leslie you may have jinxed it by winterizing your snowblower Leslie, Can't blame it on me because I did not winterize my snowblower yet. I have the siphon; it's ready. But I thought, still March. It's an anything can happen month, so I have not winterized the snowblower yet. But but you didn't take it out today. Nah. 
there's snow on the grass, but uh, streets and sidewalks are still clean. You know who got hit is our man in Waukesha, Ryan. Oh, yeah. Ryan, how much did you get? Seven inches of snow. That's what she, oh, so he keeps. You're going to let Mother Nature take care I, um, of it, though. You're I not going to I shoveled the path from the back door to the garage, and that's it. Yeah. 50 yeah. a day or so, and that's it. It's it. So it's, but it's a mess. It's just wet, heavy snow. It's, yeah. Well, Ryan, the two seasons are fighting each mm -hmm. other now. Okay. That's what's happening. They're fighting each other. Yeah. Ryan, and did you get new hair? Mm, I got new hair a little bit. Wait couple, a minute. A couple of shows ago. <laughs> Oh. Is that wait? That's not a Isn't snap it? on or anything, is it? No. It's, it's, okay. Come on, it's it's Velcro. I've seen it on the green screen. Come on. The way she said that, I. Well, no, it looks it. The cut is more. Um, you got a little bit of a Julius Caesar thing happening there, there that I don't recall seeing last week. The Ryan better question just... is new new dishware, Ryan. New bowls. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's be easy on the boy, huh? He went to the Stations of the Cross with his son, Hank, today, and I remember it being a long affair, but you said you were in and out in a half hour. Half hour, and that was second graders leading the leading the service, so that was pretty good. So wow. they were and acting then, it out, and then there was narration. So Was there a fish fry in the church then? No, not at that church, So, but there, I believe there's one in the parish, so in one of the parishes around the area. Oh, there has to be. It's the oh, law. Yeah. yeah. And, and Next I was Columbus. Staying, this is when they shine. And my neighbor was out shoveling, and I meant to ask him if he was going to use some Lumi after that sweaty shoveling episode this morning, but I kept my mouth shut. Because that's one of the things he likes using, he said to yes. you. Oh, which, yes. so huh? when did stinking all over become a thing? Because there is a... a commercials everywhere they're saturating tv mm -hmm. the internet uh radio and you would think that we've run out of water and that you can no longer clean i feel like a stink all over and well and they're all disgusting you're right all the people they have hired are not what i would call attractive i'm sorry and now when they're talking about their parts not being uh well right. um, uh, right, uh, serviced. Now I'm really not feeling good. No. And the latest is that is a dove. Um, dove. Dove. It's for your pits, and then she pulls her her sweatpants out, and oh. and then and for your and they bleep it out. <sighs> really. Once again, we have soap. We have water. We have regular antiperspirants, and. Uh, Come on, this is nuts. <laughs> yeah, but there must be a huge market market as well, far as sales, and they are just tapping into it. And they're tapping into the fear because nobody wants to think that they smell bad. Some of us know we smell delightful, but some That's people right. not so secure. <laughs> I've been complimented on my cologne. And your skin this uh, yes. recently too. From my operator you... said my my skin looks good. <laughs> That's why I, I call the person who cuts my hair. <laughs> it was just like, hey, your skin looks real. Oh, that's good. Well, thank you. That, that's a step in the right direction. All right, who else is on board here? Uh, Wheatfield, Indiana, Dale, yeah. Uh, Snowless, uh, Sammy, Mundelein, Illinois, checking in every week. Good to see you, Samantha. And Mark H. from Iowa. I have no real, real plans. Plan. For, you don't need a plan. Yeah, this is your plan. You're okay. fine. You don't have to drive. Checking in from, uh, yeah. Okay. That's why you come here, Mark. Appreciate it. Sandy Lee, West Michigan. Less not well, they're on the other side there. Is it going to be lake effect? Are you going to get the lake know. effect? Oh, and it could, oh, that lake effect could be scary. Deb, Clearwater Beach. I'm sure things are nice there. Alan said that. Central Florida was getting some rain, but the temperature was not bad. 69, occasional light rain. Can't beat it. And who else? I see Scott. Take a goddamn shower, he says. <laughs> exactly. I mean, really, folks. Uh, 
and, and do the how's your father and you should be fine. You know, think of it. We a lot of us have spray attachments. There's <laughs> yes. uh, it, 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 it feels a lot better than that spray out of a can. And I bet you, yeah, it's better for you. Row Friday night, perch night. Yeah, I saw that up on Rose comment there. Uh, for everyone, regardless of faith, yes, go with the perch. And uh, Zadino, after a hard day hitting the booze, looking out the window, counting the snowflakes. Guess I fell asleep because I missed a few. Yeah, it's uh, it's hey, it's that it, it, we're we're in the taint of seasons. But now um, we here on the show obviously recognize meteorological spring, but now we're into the real thing too, which kind of right. came it's all and went. Nobody, yeah. yeah, I go with March 1st. Cindy says, March. if you have not yet filed your taxes, your tax professional is getting weary, get your paperwork turned in. She does taxes. And yeah, now we got to think about that. We hit spring and now we got to think about taxes. Jesus, can we get a break now? Going back to uh, Kate, mm. Princess Kate, she came out with a video today right. saying that she is being treated for cancer. Well, when you hear somebody's in the, what's, this is, me is king, Alan? Yes, sir. Okay. Who made me king? Alan. <laughs> and when Chicago you're in the might actually be better off if you were king at this point. I can't do any worse, right? I mean, I, really. I've seen some videos out of the city that just would curl your hair. So yes, and your operator, I'm sure, would say that that's nice. But and, and a generation earlier, curled. a generation earlier, he looked like this. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay. So when you're in the hospital for more than oh about eight hours, it's serious because they can do a a heart transplant and have you in by noon, out by five usually. When she was in for two weeks, and now she comes out, oh, um, I'm getting chemotherapy. It's preventative. And if it's stomach cancer, if you've it's, known anybody who's had stomach cancer. Well, it's a, they found it during abdominal surgery. So one has to, I, you know, it, it narrows down the field of cancers that we're talking about here. And no matter which one you're talking about, it's it's getting into dicey territory so we and you think about this and you said online she's taking a pounding from some people oh too bad the, for you or the schadenfreude out there yeah. right now is already just cruel well that's the way it is these days it it is where if somebody has anything that you don't have you're jealous apparently and you want them to suffer that's sick but I think of it this way. Here's a woman who has anything anybody could possibly want, but does it really matter in the scheme of things if your health isn't there? And right. if this becomes something, and she's only 42 years old. Well, and that's it. You you think she's got the the world by the horns. I mean... All the best clothes and fabulous jewelry. Pick a crown, any crown. She's got Pick a castle, any castle. Yeah, m multiple homes. She's got. Yeah, I mean, not to mention well, the fact matter. she's gorgeous. Yeah, although she looked a little sick in this video today. Just there's a, a, a her color isn't quite right. She looks a little drawn, and damn man, that sucks so bad. And it's weird With when kids. Oh. the royal family asks for privacy when their whole life is basically being kind of a a zoo. So so you have to wonder whether they maybe should have gotten ahead of this a little earlier because all the speculation and the controversy and the innuendo and all the other stuff. And now the fact that they haven't exactly said what kind of cancer she's being treated for. It seems like the this is only going to wind up those royal watchers even more. What's their policy? No, no hugging, no kissing, no learning, or not Seinfeld. Uh, no, no <laughs> really? apologies. They have a two. Uh, it's, it's a thing they all go by in the castle. Oh, okay. No explaining, well, no complaining, or something like that. 
That right there sounds like something they might be living with. Yeah. How do you, you, I mean, this is the life that you were born into. There's no way you can avoid the scrutiny. So just lean into it and deal with it. That's what it is. Uh, wait here. Deborah. Deborah. Wow. Exactly. Deborah. One year ago today, I was released after 14 days of recurrent pancreas surgery, major abdominal surgery. Wow. Okay. Oh, well, but God the, bless the you, thing here, Deborah. Glad yeah, good you're for here. you, Deborah. But here's the beauty of living now as opposed to 30, 40, 50 years ago when you got this stuff and it was an automatic death sentence. It isn't anymore. No, there's a lot of hope. Well, you know, uh, even with my husband, when he was diagnosed, it was stage four lung. So in the past, it would have been weeks, months, and we were lucky enough to get four years, which was an incredible gift. It's never long enough, but um, yeah, they are yeah. making incredible strides. So, Well, and then you look at the people in Haiti and think, okay, let, let's look at the good stuff we have. We're living in the right country and we have things that a lot of people on this planet don't have today. I mean, basics. And we don't even think about that. We just think, well, damn it, I want to complain about something because that's what I have time to do. We if don't have, have a guy what? named Barbecue <laughs> in yeah. charge of our streets right now. That's right. a and plus. They had something happen in Russia today at a concert. Yeah. A, a concert gunman hall. Opened I think fire. it's still ongoing. Yeah. Several gunmen have walked into this place, opened fire. Uh, they supposedly are or are allegedly armed with bombs and stuff too. Uh, yeah. The other thing out of Haiti, um, apparently they're they're carrying out uh, non-surgical amputations and then setting people on fire in Haiti too. And so there you have it. We so, have a dusting of snow. <laughs> right. <laughs> eh, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're we're sitting pretty well here, and That's I'll it. toast to that. Yeah. Cheers. Listeners. Thank Look, you. I, I okay. got wine in my glass. Mm -hmm. I'm not drinking antifreeze tonight yet. Yeah, really? Okay. I posted a new blog. It is the kind of the best of clown names as of right now. And I also have a list of the ones I didn't put on the list on the blog at GaryMeyer.com. These are the ones that are not on that list. This is the an add-on of clown names. And here we go. Uh, Shady background, defective bushings, sudden severe pain, blunt trauma, novelty bottle openers, large bulge, open containers, gurgling hole, sea monkey wrangler, elevated to a tussle, furry intruder, altitude sickness, lingering moisture, drooling <laughs> raccoon, spoken gibberish, and horrific freak accident. No, you, you can didn't go to just the pull those out of your keister. These were things that you actually heard on this program or somewhere. Yeah, over the right? years. Yes. Okay. And I'd write them down and catalog them and uh, pulled out of your keister is another one. That's a good one. <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. I like that. I like that a lot. So everything else is fine in our world, right? Considering. And. Yep. We, in the coming weeks, are going to have more guests on and stuff. But every now and then, we like to blow out the pipes with just us because we know each other well and we don't have to impress anybody. No must, no fuss. And you guys are checking in <laughs> with uh, your comments, which are always really funny, too. You said moisture. Um, yeah. <laughs> Drilling Raccoon <laughs> gets my voice. Vote, rather. Oh, good. All right. And uh, we're going to visit with Ryan right now. Ryan? As you mentioned, you got some snow. And I mentioned to Ryan that I'm trying, and he lost some points right here. I caught him because he's a big Titanic fan. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm in the process. And Titanic is rotating on my cable system a lot lately. Oh, really? And I mentioned that I'm trying to get Billy Zane on the program. Yeah, you have a model of the day. I'm thinking it took you five who's, weeks to put it together. Who's Billy Zane, Gary? Oh, yeah, and God, I said, Ryan, I said really? to Ryan, I'm going to try to get Billy Zane on in the coming weeks. And when you said that, I thought, don't say that to your wife. You'll be sleeping <laughs> on the couch. Right. What Billy was uh, one, of, one of the key people in the movie. Mm -hmm. 
he was he was the bad guy. He was right. the yes the the kind of uh, borderline abusive fiance. So yeah. yes, uh, maybe not and even you, borderline. He was abusive. He was an a hole. <laughs> so so right, and that's the thing. Not, he, he played the role so well that I was like, oh, Gary, do we want to have him on? Like, is he an asshole in real life? No, he's not. I and met him and nice. he's not. He's the exact opposite. And I think you'll find that to be true when we have him on, if we can get him on in the next few weeks. But I think it's interesting, Ryan. Apparently, you're not as deeply immersed nope. in the whole Titanic culture as your wife. No, but I saved the I'll save the day because we're going to go on a road trip here to Branson soon for spring break. And where there's a Titanic museum down there. And I've, of course, said, isn't it all the same? Haven't you seen them all? Well, no, we'd still go even if I saw them all. OK. And next this time you're in Chicagoland, next time you're in Chicagoland, there's a new Titanic museum in Skokie at the old Orchard yeah, that, Shopping that, Center. We, we might be doing that the weekend we get back. So we'll, we're still heavy Titanic in the rotation in the Corcoran family. Are the these mobile thing, museums or that yeah. there's there? I think the one that it is a is a pop up museum. It's and one of those, but the Branson like ones a brick Abbey and mortar. experience or uh, immersive Van Gogh or any of those. Yeah, one in Branson is permanent. Yeah, it's permanent. It's like the uh, where we there's one in Tennessee too. I mean they're they're all over. You get to touch the melting iceberg and. Um. Now, there is a man in the process of, uh, I think it's an Australian billionaire who has acquired the funds and um, yep. is in the process of finding someone to build a replica of the Titanic, full size. And they're talking about having a maiden voyage in 2027. So this could be happening. Oh. Maybe oh. she'll go for her 50th birthday then. She always says she wants to do something big for her 50th birthday. So maybe that'll be it. <laughs> and then she throws you off the boat, puts yeah, you yeah. on a door, or she lays <laughs> on the door, lets you float around in the water until you sink to the yeah. bottom. How authentic. Yeah. And um, we know what happened thing, on the maiden voyage of the original, so that should be fine. Um, but the other thing that was really appealing about the idea of Billy Zane was his whole approach to style, which I think a lot of us will find very interesting and appealing, right? Because he's a man who will not go to the store wearing sweatpants, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. Okay, thanks for reminding me. When I was talking to him in this conference, that's one of his things, too. He is very much a, you don't leave the house looking like a schlub. And I'm not alone, thank God. Because it's a it's a battle now, and I don't know who is the larger percentage of slubs versus we're staying dressed up when we leave the house. I don't know. It seems like we're up against a real big force. And I think those are the same people that might use Lumi. That might be a <sighs> that might be a it. Lumi crowd. Or <laughs> that and to get the litter picked up all over the place. I mean, oh. my God, it's 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 coast to coast. And I'm going to start cataloging that. I think I'm going to start running some YouTube on what I see. And it's all uh, over. I'm right on this one, too. It's it's yeah. really disgusting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. You want to the live in Haiti? Are, Go live in Haiti. The worst are dirty That's the way Haiti looks. They're burning tires in the middle of the street. That's what they do. Yeah. Have you noticed those kinds of uprisings that, okay, <laughs> this is an observation you're going to want to watch now that Haiti is erupting. Look at the uh, shirts that the guys are wearing that are running around. They all, some of those shirts I put in a Goodwill box, I think, about a year ago. <laughs> and they must end up, swear to God, look at the shirts. They're, they're the weirdest damn shirts. It's not something you would picture these guys going and buying at a store. It's they, not like a soccer shirts? jersey or? Well, you see a few of those, but they're just, they look like they were donated. And they probably were. That poor country that, that, that's been a crap hole for decades and when they're not having civil unrest they've got natural disasters always coming around it's the weirdest combo platter and then on the other side the dominican republic people are sitting on lounge chairs having a a mint julep I, there you I go i swam yeah, with dolphins in um yeah the dominican i yeah the uh... Yeah, Please. I'm waiting to see a Gear Force t-shirt uh, running around down there next to a tire <laughs> we're so, fire. We're so effed if that shows up. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. So, 
All right. I have uh, a few hey, pictures. If you, you got pictures, let's sh let's show the pictures. This one remind everybody it's it's huh? tonight. That's, that's tonight. That's Powerball. Now wait a minute. Powerball's tomorrow. Mega's tonight. Mega's tonight. Yeah, that's mega. Yeah, not a bad number. Oh. Somebody's gonna win. So you guys both said you have tickets. Yes. Are yes. these quick picks or did quick we? Picks. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. I just saw a story that guy that won billion dollars in California last year. One two dollar quick pick. Nice. Wow. That's all you need. That's, that's it. You just need one ticket, have, the winning ticket. Exactly. You you have no better chance of winning by buying twenty tickets than you do by buying just the one. So there you go. These cool. pillows are from Tracy of Wisconsin. Tracy Racine. She's got Schnauzer pillows. Those are two pillows. Nice. Those are handsome. Yes, they are. We have lots of Schnauzer things, courtesy of Tracy, including our little Schnauzers, your kissing Schnauzers, oh, my and kissing some Schnauzers. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, oh, that's a good boy. That's <laughs> a good boy. And some stuff that's going to be part of our giveaway later on today, including ball liquors and bendables. Huh? So that coming up. She's our pipeline. Thank you, Tracy. Cool. What you want to Here's feature? What show us everything? You are or, or, oh, okay. I? Hey. Yeah, you know what? Because last week we yeah. kind of screwed Hang up and waited. Ryan. We're going to show all the prize package, and then I want to see what you're doing up on your roof there. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Really. What? Um. So what we have, of course, we were talking about our house band. Oh, yes. So we have our house band swag. A Met Publicus um, guitar pick and a koozie and a bracelet. We have some fun stuff from Scott's Vintage Antiques and Collectibles, including a fortune telling fish, a Bob's Big Boy collector card, some Dick Tracy collector cards. Uh, nice. Let's see what else. Oh, this one. These are cool. Um, a King Dinosaur mini movie poster. And a, <laughs> how appropriate is this? A Denny Hastert garbage bag. Okay. <laughs> and I think that was his nickname at the end of his political yeah, career. Yeah, that's uh, an Illinois politician who went south. Uh, a fashion face mask for the next pandemic. And then, uh, let's see, Alcatraz matches. As we said, Tracy from Wisconsin is giving us bendables and ball liquors. Our own Alan Delinka has custom magnets for you. And the prize that started it all, your very own wine condom. So there and you go. And with that magnet, when you buy your lottery tickets, because some people have a hard time locating them, what you do is when you get home, you put that ticket behind the magnet on the refrigerator, and there it is, ready to be checked. Very nice. You're never going to lose it. You're not going to end up like that idiot who took it to show his girlfriend and then lost it in a parking lot. Yep. And, well, a million dollar ticket and realized that when he got home that he didn't have it, he goes back. There's the ticket lying in the parking lot. And how many people wow. walked over a million dollars because they're too cool to pick up anything? And that goes back to let's pick up the trash. You don't know. It could be a million exactly. dollars. Um, so who's on the Do we want to pick a name or, or pick a? Yeah, we'll uh, we'll do it in a minute. Okay, we'll go through the. Uh, that was a, a Facebook post about people that really like to clean, and they uh, <laughs> said oh, we. I on. even go out and clean my roof, so I, I thought that would be appropriate for uh, this group. That how does that <laughs> help anything? That doesn't work. <laughs> Gary, of but course, this... knows that he would use his blower, not a vacuum. Yes. Yes. That and right. you see, they crawled out that little window there. So it was a post on Facebook saying, you know, spring cleaning. This is my neighbor. He's, you know. Yeah, in, I'm a blower, into... not a skirt. <laughs> so I thought I'd throw <laughs> that a bumper sticker says. Um, here, this was what I sent you in the middle of the week. And uh, for how about that? You radio folks. Nice. Uh, microphone <laughs> shower head. Uh huh. So you can sing a cappella, do a how's your father, and avoid right. the need for all those sprays and loomies and dove products. Nice. Uh, I do I have one more? I have one more. Uh, again, a cocktail show. <laughs> you got the tapper right there in the car. You can get 
Nice. <laughs> so. When the police pull you over for speeding, uh, is so that a hurting thing or a helping thing? <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay. Uh, we're going to do some commercials and then you're going to do your Wisconsin report. Yep. And we'll start with Bettenhausen Automotive. Bettenhausen Automotive is expanding. Join the Bettenhausen winning team today at our new Lockport location opening May 2024. Bettenhausen Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has many positions available, including sales managers, greeters and concierge, sales and service porters, billers, loop technicians, and more. Bettenhausen is hiring for all positions. Send resumes to careers at bettenhausenauto.com. Your best career change starts now at bettenhausencdjr.com slash careers. How about it? That new showroom. Yeah. If you're in that area, they're a great company to work for. I got to tell a little story here. Chuck, who produces these commercials, his dog went blind in one eye a while back, and then the dog went blind in the other eye, and they thought they're going to have to euthanize the dog, and they didn't want to. They've had the dog a long time. So they go to the vet, and the vet says, okay, here's the deal. We take the eyes out because they would just bother the dog at that point. Right. And then they sew the eyes shut. And within a few weeks, the dog will reacclimate to the house, even though he's blind. And that's what's happening. The dog has started to already acclimate all the rooms and stuff, and they can leave the dog alone and the dog can maneuver through the house. How about that? My godmother had a blind dog and same thing, like he would follow the walls and knew his way around the house. It was the old um, uh, Helen Keller joke, like, uh, how do you punish Helen? How did Helen Keller's parents punish her? They rearranged the furniture. <laughs> so, okay. um, so essentially, he just kind of, sorry, we were, it was a different time. We were it much was. looser back it then, was. but um. I guess as long as you don't change things up too much, that's that's kind of cool. Yeah, they know patterns. And once they realize the pattern, even blind, they can stay to the pattern. I'm so happy. And he was so happy they didn't have to put oh. the dog down. So now I don't know how much longer they'll get out of the dog, but that's a decent option. <laughs> Scott has called you a shock jock, Leslie. Hope you're happy. <laughs> Gotcha. That, honest to gosh, I think I heard that joke when I was like in third grade or something. Know. Oh. Who knows Helen Keller? I mean, a lot of people are going to have to Google <laughs> Helen Keller. Well, um, did you know Helen Keller had a pony? No, neither did she. Oh, yes. <laughs> and now yeah, it's sorry. Now, exactly. Now yeah, you've oh, opened up Lordy. the floodgates. It was a different time. We different used to time. tell dead baby jokes when I was little. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh, golly. Uh, lube technician position. Oh, okay. Yes. If you want to be a lube technician, that's a good job. It's available at Benton House. Okay. <laughs> this guy is a good guy. too. He will help you save money on mortgages and refis and all that stuff. And there's a free consultation to get you started. Can't beat that. Those are the numbers. Give them a call. It is spring. And that's when the housing market starts to go and churn and people get out there and start looking. So, David's your guy. All right. <laughs> what, what's so funny? <laughs> That's so wrong, Mill Rat. Uh, um, how did Helen Keller burn the side of her face? She answered the iron. How did she burn the other side? They called back. See, That's so wrong. Wow. You should be ashamed of yourself. Shock uh, listeners, shock viewers. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy uh if you didn't laugh you'd cry all we day we just laughed at shit yeah so yeah we we, we don't laugh anymore that's the problem Does anyone that's what remember we're trying to laughter do. yeah jesus everything's so uptight everything's oh. crap i refuse <laughs> to go down the crap hole and well you should that's right all right ryan are you ready with your little report I have one. I have one more thing. Uh, I had corresponded with Chuck, uh, one of our listeners, and he had a bad day after he talked to me. And his wife said, "Hey, you must be talking to Ryan, and the the weird stuff is coming through the phone, and you're 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 susceptible to it now. So uh, don't talk to him anymore." 
So. Oh, okay. Oh, ow. Uh, now, uh, oh, Chuck okay. sent she you the joking. story about the woman who got high on vanilla extract. Yes, yes. And, and so then he, of I course, had this... with me and then had a bad day yeah. after that. Now, his wife's blaming you for his bad juju. Yes. Oh, correct. Because the weird, I weirdos follow about... me. Yeah, because you have a lot of oddities every day. You leave the house <laughs> and it is just weird city, right? Yes. Okay. And maybe this new haircut will. You said you had that. a story about a. You said you were said a story about a lady of the extract, vanilla extract. No, well, we nutmeg. Used it. Oh, nutmeg. Oh, we nutmeg. used yeah, the vanilla right. extract, and then the nutmeg story came up where they're getting high off nutmeg now. What's wrong with a highball? When did that go out of style? Yeah. And then that led into the discussion when I was a kid. People sniffing glue. Mm -hmm. and all these other damn things that just would give you a major headache or kill you. And I don't know why you can't stick with the booze. Yeah. That's why or, God or invented we'd, booze. We'd sniff gasoline. Gasoline, you know, when the, oh. you, the, you know, you fill the lawnmower up and go, oh, gas. I had a friend that loved the smell of gasoline. Yeah, that was a thing. But you don't smell that anymore. Do you smell that when you pump your gas? Not really. They must have. They, no, no they they've got those right, that, different... That, that, yeah. Right. The exactly. nozzle has some kind of little bladder there that prevents that. But you're right. That was a nice aroma. And the mimeograph tests we would get in school, we'd sniff those as soon as we got them. Oh, my God. That that was a good that and 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 Elmer's glue, man. <laughs> the only thing that made going to school worthwhile were those two smells because they overshadowed the smell of that stuff that they would put on kids vomit. Yeah, the dust, that, that sawdust. Yeah, pink sawdusty stuff. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> All right. All yeah. right. Now I think we've set up the Wisconsin report nicely. Are we ready to go to that, Alan? It's Wisconsin, yeah, hey. Hey, everybody. It's Ryan from Wisconsin. Happy spring. Not snow, snow, snow. well, Friday in Wisconsin. Here, we're going to be getting a snowstorm anywhere from three to ten inches of snow, depending on where you're at. So, I had to bust out the coat here and I'm going to have to break out the snow shovel. Maybe spring will come at some point, but I'm enjoying the daylight. You wonder where movie props go? Well, the psycho house, the Norman Bates house, the door from the movie ended up at a Rib Lake, Wisconsin funeral home. It's kind of the highlight of the funeral home. You get to go see someone that's passed away and get to open and touch the door from the Norman Bates house. Staying with that theme a little bit, I was talking to my neighbor and said something about Ed Gein. And he said, oh, I know Ed Gein. Him and I used to cut wood, wood in northern Wisconsin. He was a really hard worker, but a short guy and had a Napoleon complex. Well, you never know who will know some serial killers. If you're looking to avoid the apocalypse coming, especially the apocalypse with zombies, you can buy a house in Superior, Wisconsin. It's on 80 acres. It's $1.1 million. It's built into the hillside, and they tout that it's zombie-proof in the real estate ad. Many of the walls inside are cinder block and other materials, so you can really hunker yourself down as the zombies beat on the outside of the house. Hope everybody has a great weekend, and I, you know what I will be doing? Shoveling snow. No snow. But you're not going to shovel, or you already shoveled no. a little path, but that's the it. The path, that's it. Yes. That's it. Yes. Okay. So I don't know if that my neighbor was really being serious about Ed Gein when he's an old guy. If so, it's just a weird coincidence that they talked about that. I hope that they story. were sawing tree limbs because <laughs> with Ed, it could have been people limbs. Yes. Yeah, he could have been filleting something. We did give away the etching of Ed Gein's. Okay. Um, Tombstone. Tombstone last week. And I should have made copies. I'm so sorry. So it was kind of a one and done. Unless Scott from Scott's Vintage Antiques and Collectibles wants to send us another one. I, I would oh, do man, better next that time. Bad juju. Bad juju. <laughs> we need good juju. Uh, yeah. I think, Although yeah. I, I looked up Ed Gein when, when Ryan had mentioned it in the report. And Wikipedia, Wikipedia said that his grave is unmarked. So I don't know where the rubbing of the tombstone would come from. <laughs> uh -huh. hmm. Like everything you see of course, on the Wikipedia's, internet. Wikipedia's reality, uh, we don't know. But still. Yeah. yeah. 
Oh, uh, Johnny from Michigan got the sketch. Oh, oh it was it oh. Johnny. Okay. He said, I received the sketch. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, Johnny. Okay. Don't take that to the stations of the cross, though. That That's not good juju. No, <laughs> no we need the good juju. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Johnny had a Reuben sandwich uh, a while back. Sent me a picture. I love Reuben Ooh. sandwiches. Oh, delish. No. Can't have them today, though. No meat today, no. right? No. And last week, Johnny provided us a picture of the butter lamb that he already purchased for Easter. So uh, that'll go with those lamb cakes. And, and the question always is, how do you start cutting it? It just... Ugh. It's a little uh, his butter lamb looked it usually like start elephant, with the butt. it looked like elephant lamb. That that face was a little <laughs> okay, distorted. Yeah. A little Maybe bit. some melting before it got yeah. to it. Yeah. A little bit. And that how the zombie house, ask David Hochberg about the mortgage. Yes. If you're looking at the zombie house in northern Wisconsin. 1.1 mil. Good time to buy. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Nice. All right. Thank you, Ryan. Okay. See you later. And Leslie's got stories. Um, well, so let's set up the giveaway and right, here we're talking about it. Let's just do hashtag good juju. Put Doesn't that matter if you section. use caps. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That's the phrase that pays. Put it in the comment section and then the computer will pick the winner in a couple minutes. Um, so, yeah, we already pretty well talked out everything going on with Kate Middleton, but uh, they're not saying once again, what kind of cancer she has. And as you might expect, they are saying uh, they want time, space, and privacy uh, as she continues with her treatment. I love the word privacy. And who are they um, addressing that to? The press, right? It's not like the rest of us are gonna run over there and hang out at Buckingham. Well, and here's the thing. You're asking paparazzi not to be paparazzi. Yeah, that's, they're living. Yeah. That, yeah, they listen really well. Oh, thanks, Kate. Yeah, no, we're yeah. just All right, stay we'll there. stay away. Yeah, we won't look for pictures then. Um, a trio of bank robbers in Texas dubbed the Little Rascals are now under arrest. How did they earn that nickname? Well, because they are ages 16, 12, and 11. Parents of two of the boys contacted police after seeing surveillance pictures taken of their sons during the heist at a Wells Fargo bank branch in Houston. According to police, the boys passed a teller a threatening note demanding money and suggesting that they were armed, though no weapon was actually presented. Still, uh, they did get away with an undisclosed amount of cash. No word on whether any of that money has been recovered. One of those kids is in sixth grade if he's in school at all. Sixth 11. grade. Think about that. You're yeah. in sixth grade robbing a bank. The other one's in seventh grade. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, sticky traps in this case would be awesome. Just to yep. watch those boys have to deal with that for a while. Um, legislators in Tennessee are considering legislation which would make it illegal for first cousins to marry. Uh, while it is currently legal for first cousins to marry, the Tennessee General Assembly Fiscal Review Committee says a change in the law is not expected to have a significant impact on the number of marriages performed in the state. So it does lead one to question what, why this bill and why now? Yeah, don't they have anything else to work on? We got to get the first cousin thing going. Uh, yeah, because we've had like one. I mean, yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, yeah, okay. and finally, let's uh, talk about oh, WWJD. Well, um, what would Jesus do? For one thing, he sure wouldn't hire a hitman to kill his daughter's boyfriend. A Southern California pastor was arrested last week in connection with the shooting that occurred on October 21st when the victim was fired upon as he was driving. Despite being struck several times, the victim was able to survive by driving himself to the hospital for treatment. A subsequent investigation led police to Pastor Samuel Pasillas, who reportedly paid two shooters, now good money, close to $40,000 to carry out the dirty deed. Bad Jesus. $40,000. Usually they do this for like $10,000. Was, was that <laughs> each or did they have to split it? 
I think they might have had to split it, but either way, um, it was big money, not well spent because, well, maybe it was well spent because they missed. I Either way, the boyfriend. How do you know that, Leslie, alive. you said it's usually $10,000. How do you know the going price for this? Because I cover these stories every okay. couple months, yeah. we find somebody invariably who goes online to hire a hitman. An FBI agent <laughs> invariably is the person who responds, drags them into this little scenario, and then busts them at the end. So I love those stories. Those are oh, some of my yeah. favorites. All right. Yeah. And how's Angry Mama? Um, What's it to you, asshole? Do you really care how I'm doing? Yes, I do, Angry. Oh, well, in, the, in that case, I... I I, uh, I we always I'm like fine. hearing from angry. Fuck, I guess I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice mouth. <laughs> if there is a mouth on that, she she does, and it's it's an angry mouth. All right, all right. Your spotted dick, honey. There you go. What's that? She sits on a can of spotted dick. Oh, yes. Spotted dick. Uh, with an expiration date of uh, 2010. <laughs> nice. Uh, someday this can is going to blow. You know it's going to happen. Yes, it is. <laughs> and when you blow a spotted dick, you know. And it's going to send angry mama into orbit. Right. And it'll cross paths with your wine condom. <laughs> that would be so cool. Dueling skyrockets. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to give something away. We're going to land a little early today because we've got a good tailwind. Hope you don't mind. Uh, here we go. There we go. Any music? Aren't you going to... There it is. Linda! Linda! All right, Alan, tell Linda what to do. Linda, send your mailing address to, where the heck is my scroll for that? <laughs> there it is. Gary Meyer Show at GaryMeyer.com or text 773-888-2157. Regular charges apply by sending your name and mailing address. Leslie can get all those prizes to the post office and uh, somebody from there might eventually get it to you, hopefully. Otherwise, it yeah. ends up in the lost and found at Leslie's, at Leslie's post office. <laughs> well, it does, because uh, that is the return address on anything sent from the uh, Gear Force is going to be the Westmont, Illinois Post Office. Don't send anything there; it's not going to reach me. But okay, because uh, really, Leslie lives in the the zombie house in northern Wisconsin. She wants her I'm privacy. Smoker, actually, if somebody, <laughs> when the owner of this place figures out that I'm here, I am so it's, screwed. She's squatting. I'm squatting. She's a squatter. <laughs> All right. That's it for this week. Hope you enjoyed that. And we'll see you on Monday. Time for the cannoli coming down the aisle. Please take it. It's delicious. See, it is. Uh, and Leslie, what about the schnauzer? Um, cover up your schnauzer because depending on where you are in the U.S. of A., uh, it might get cold because it's snowing in some places. Okay. It is three in the green. Gear is down. Flaps are down. The Voice of the Globe, America's podcast, the Gear Force has landed. And that's it for all the news and nonsense here at the Gear Force. If you like that, I got other stuff I think you're going to like. This is the Gear Force. Thanks for streaming. Like, subscribe, and be kind. But no need to rewind. It sure would be terrific if you subscribe to the Gear Force Live YouTube channel. More eyeballs. If you are watching this show recorded, that button is right here. And if you'd like to look at past episodes, try that button. Boom. Shaka laka. That's it. All right. How do you shut this thing off?